Good morning, good evening, good night from wherever you are watching us. Welcome again to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use Ample Note. Ample Note helps you to stop losing your work in the shuffle between apps because with Ample Note, you can do jots, you can do notes, you can also do tasks and you can also drag and drop those tasks on your calendar in a very easy way. So to get to Amponot, you simply go to amponot.com and that link is available in the description of this video. You'll need to register an account. So at the top here, you put your email there and you click on start your free trial. That will take you to this sign up Amponot site where you can now put in your password here. And then you click on create account. After putting your password, it will take you to this site where you will need to complete your profile. You add your full name here and then you save the profile information, but you can still skip the step down here and that will take you to the homepage of Amponote. And so this is how Amponote homepage looks like. I'll quickly explain through this and then we do the samples. At the top right, this is where you create a new node and the shortcut is Control alt n on PC and then on this side we can see the peak viewer that is for the shortcut is Control J and then on the left hand side here at the top this is where you control your profile you can access your account settings you can also install plugins and then other things you can do include changing the dark mode for your Amponot you notice now that is the dark mode and we can still return it to the light mode that's how you can adjust the settings here for the share ample note here, if you click on share ample note, you are able now to copy the link here and invite new users. Or you can simply copy this link and share it elsewhere. You can share it on your email or somewhere else. And so that is what you do in order for you to invite users to your ample note. And that is important, especially if you are collaborating on a project. So for jots here, jots are simply quick ideas quick ideas that you just need to write in summary and so every jot will be a point on its own so if you scroll down here you notice we have we have the explanation on how to do that for the notes and for the jots so you can create a new note here for the second tab this way you create a new note and basically you after clicking on that you click on start a new note and you can set a task to repeat on a fixed schedule or to recur a certain number of days after you complete it. So you click on start a new note down here and then you give your note a name. So let's call this note complete my thesis and then you can give the details here down here. I'll just type that and then with that you notice what you can do with that task that you have added. With that note that you have added, you can hide it here, you can mark it as completed, or you can use the back links here. And we have not completed any task, and then we can also edit this. We can add images to it. For instance, I can click on image, and then I go to my PC, then I can select an image and add it to my, to my note there. Notice now we have our image already added there in our task to complete the thesis. So once you're through with that, you notice you can publish your note here. You click on these three dots, you can publish your note. And if you want people maybe to collaborate in your note here, maybe we are doing this as several people, you can click on add collaborators and then you invite them through the email. And then if you don't want the note, you delete it. But under more options here, if you want your note to be private, you can actually lock that note here and other things you can do include to archive the notes and you can copy mail to note address here where we have tasks this is where you can create your tasks so you can filter tasks by note reference you notice we have the details given here and so to change the tasks here you simply come to the right hand side here you can hide you can uh, start at you can also set it as priority and then down here, if you click on the drop down arrow, you can now set all this about your task. If it is a repeat task, you can come here 
and click on on a fixed schedule then you set the schedule or you can uh, say it's not repeat you set there and if it has a certain date to start you click on that and you start the date maybe wednesday and then you can add the reminder you want to be reminded maybe 15 minutes there you click on that and then you can hide or unhide and then you can set the duration and so that is how you add a task again you can add images to your task just like we had said in the beginning so i'll edit this task so that it looks like uh, we are planning to do so i'll call this task arrange the flowers so that is the task that i have just added there then i'll set it to doesn't repeat and that is okay with me so i'll stop it at that so let me go back to tasks you notice now we have our arrange the flowers here so let me add another one here the second one um let me add this and call it wipe the mixer interior so then i can set at the end here i can add start at so i want it to start today then i can set it as priority if i click on that now urgent i can set it is either as urgent and important urgent important or none i want this to be urgent and important so if i click on that you notice it gets that star there for priority there so i want to mark it as urgent and important so that is it so let me remove this one from being urgent and important you click on the star there and let's call it important that way now so you notice now the stars are different here depending on what we select so let's come to the calendar now the good thing with ample notes calendar is that you can actually drag and drop the tasks that you created on this side directly to your calendar for instance we have this note here learn about four modes ample note offers uh, we can even change this one to something else let's call it a b c we call it that way so if not i come to my calendar here i simply want to put on calendar my note here i can simply come here drag the abc note and drop it where i want it to be so now notice we have our abc there i want to add read our top 10 tips i want it i want to add it to our calendar also i add it there so that's the beauty with ample note calendar you simply drag a task and drop it on your calendar and it is automatically scheduled to your calendar the tags here at the top these are tags that you can use for your activities for instance you can have daily jots you can have to do or you can even edit those tags and then you can give them the name that you would want so if we go back to notes down here we have shortcuts for daily jots and you can add more shortcuts here and then for the tags we have the ones you have explained the daily jots and if you click on those three dots you can edit the tag settings or you can even remove from shortcuts so if you click on jots and then you come to the upper right corner here you can also have a quick access to your recent notes you simply click at the top here and then you notice the note we had created is here complete my thesis and you can access it very fast and here it is so on the upper right corner this is where you can access some shortcuts there's also the arrow here if you click on that it hides that tab so that is basically how you use ample notes to organize your ideas your notes and your calendar i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel